Okay, now that we know about similarity, similarity we're going to use some of the properties of similarity to find unknown sides. So first, you need to know that the perimeters of sim similar polygons are in the same ratio or proportion as the sides of similar polygons. So if I have that the perimeter of KLMN, polygon PLMN, is similar to polygon PQRS, then I know that that perimeter is in the same proportion or equal to the ratio of any two side lines, KL to PQ, LM to QR, MN to RS, or NK to SP. Now, we know that similar figures, their sides are in proportion, or proportional. So the ratio of the sides are the same. So in this particular thing, I want you to, to, to determine whether these polygons are similar. Similar. Sorry, I can't read today. What I don't know what's up with that. If they are, write a similarity statement and find the scale factor of the two polygons. So here's what we're going to do. is We're going to say the first figure is our original and the second figure is our image. So remember, image always is over original in a scale factor. So I'm going to look at corresponding sides. I know that side FJ corresponds to side ZW, and I'm going to put numbers to that, which is 16 over 20, and when I reduce that, that is 0.8. Now let's look at side JH and WX. When I put those in a ratio, and add numbers to them, 12 to 15, again I get 0.8. Now let's look at HG and XY, and when I put numbers to that, again I get 0.8. So I'm seeing that all these sides are proportional, but let's just check the very last one, GF to YZ, and when I put numbers to that, I get 0.8 as well. So I know all the sides are in proportion. Therefore, these figures are similar because the sides are in proportion and all of the angles, corresponding angles, are congruent. And remember, that is the definition of similar figures. The sides more, must be in proportion, the angles must be congruent. So let's write a similarity statement. And that is polygon ZYXW is similar. I notice I used the squiggly to polygon FGHJ. And notice that I put each corresponding side in the same order. And the scale factor is the proportion of the side. So our scale factor is 0.8 going from my original to my image. And that would make sense because it's a smaller Figure, so this is a reduction because my scale factor K is less than 1. Alright, now in this diagram, I am telling you that these two triangles are similar because I've given you a similarity statement. And I want you to use that fact to find the value of X. So looking at my two uh, triangles, I'm going to use two sides that both have side lengths. So known sides. So I'm going to use ED and NM. And I'm going to say, what is the ratio of those two? It must be in the same proportion as my unknown side is to its corresponding side. So ED is to NM as EF is to NP. Now I have a proportion. I can just... Um, replace those with numbers. I can say ED is 9, NM is 12, and EF is X, and NP is 20. Now I have a proportion. I know how to solve using cross products. 
I multiply 12 times x and 9 times 20, and I solve the proportion, and I get that x equals 15. So I know the side length of EF is 15. And this is how you use similarity to find unknown sides. Now our next slide is just a review. This is not on your notes, so just pay attention. It's a review of altitude and median. The altitude is a segment that runs from the vertex of a triangle that is perpendicular to the opposite side. Now sometimes this touches inside the triangle and sometimes it is outside. That is the altitude. Now the median is a segment that runs from the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint. That means the middle of the opposite side. So it's not always perpendicular. And it bisects the opposite side. So the median bisects. Sometimes the median and the altitude are the same thing, but sometimes they're not. Okay, so I would like you to, in this diagram, I have given you that triangle TPR is congruent, or sorry, not congruent, similar. It's got the little squiggly, so it's similar to triangle XPZ. And I want you to find the length of the altitude of triangle TPR, which is line segment PS. That is the altitude, and I want you to find that. Now, if you know that these two triangles are similar, then you know that their altitudes must also be similar. So the first thing I'm going to do is add up the two segments in TR and get that the length of TR is 12 and do the same thing with XZ and find the length of XZ is 16. Now I know because these figures are similar that TR is to XZ in the same proportion that the altitudes SP is to YP. And now I'm going to replace those with numbers. And I'm going to say TR is 12, XZ is 16, SP is what we're trying to find, so we're going to call that X, and YP is 20. Now I've got a proportion I can solve, 16 times x and 12 times 20. And then I'm going to solve that. I'm going to get that x is 15, so the length of PS, notice I don't have a bar above that line segment. The length of PS, line segment PS, is 15. All right, now there's one more problem, and it is an independent practice, but I want to talk to you about how to set it up. A town is building a new swimming pool. An Olympic pool is rectangular with a length of 50 meters and a width of 25 meters. This new pool will be similar in shape. Now notice they say the word similar, but only 40 meters long. What is the width of the new pool? Well, what I want you to do is draw a diagram of the new pool and label what you know. You know that the new length is 40, but you don't know the width, so call it x. Now, I need you to pause your video right now, and I would like you to use the properties of similarity between these two figures and figure out what x is. Set up a proportion. So pause your video now. Okay, now come back and you should have set up a proportion 50 is to 40 as 25 is to X. And when you solved it, you should have gotten that the pool is 20 meters in width. All right, now you know how to find unknown sides using similarity properties. So I think you're ready for your teacher talk or your homework.